Hi, I'm Emily from Shenandoah Wellness, and today I'm going to walk you through my method of planting carrots. Um, I've heard from a lot of people over the years who they just have trouble growing carrots. A lot of times their carrots stay really small and don't ever seem to get large like the ones you uh, buy in the grocery store. And I think there are just two main rules you have to follow. The first thing is properly preparing your row. The carrots, um, their roots, and they want to go grow down straight, but if the soil is too compact, you might end up with carrots that stay short or carrots that get kind of funny shapes. Uh, so properly preparing, it is worth taking the time to uh, break up your soil down at, I would say at least six inches down. And um, so what I do first, this row is already prepared and I use just a stick to place and uh, make rows going across my bed. Uh, the reason I make, I plant carrots going across the bed is because uh, with carrots, your rows need to be six inches apart, but the actual carrots in each row can just be one inch apart. So for me, you know, you could do them the long way and that's perfectly fine. Uh, you're just gonna want your rows to be six inches apart, but I just use a stick and I lay out all my rows just by pressing and then the second rule for planting carrots, and I think this is where a lot of people make a mistake, uh, carrot seeds are very small. And you have the tendency to plant them quickly and they end up very close together. Not a problem with that, but what it means is that several times after they sprout, you need to come through and thin them out. If you don't thin the carrots out, they're not going to get big enough. Uh, as it is, they are just one inch apart, the spacing, and that's pretty close together. That's really all they need. So if you have them closer than that, um, that's going to impact how big they get. So once again, just with preparing the row, it's worth taking the extra time to make sure that uh, you have the spacing correct. It'll save you a lot of time in the future because carrots are a pretty carefree crop. Uh, here in Virginia, I plant them starting mid-April. And the cool thing about carrots is you can plant them through June, uh, July 15th. So you have three full months where you can stagger your carrot plantings. I usually do one row, uh, April, mid-April, and then I'll do another row at the beginning of July, and that row will last me into the fall and early winter, so I'm harvesting that crop uh, late fall, early winter. Another way you can buy carrots, and the seeds are a little more expensive, but these are pelleted seeds, and um, sometimes they're coated in a white pellet but it just makes for small seeds, um, like lettuce as well. When you plant them, you can see where they are and you can really get the spacing just right. Um, and the thing that I like about the carrot spacing uh, with the rows six inches apart is once they have all their greens, they end up having very little weeds in the row just because they shade out any competition. So I might have to do a tiny bit of weeding in the beginning. So we have our seeds spaced out in our rows. And at this point, uh, being that it's a small seed, you don't want to cover it too much. Like I don't fully cover in these uh, little rows that I've made, but I just take some compost and I just sprinkle it over. It's helpful for it to be kind of a different um, color, like darker like this than my soil because as far as watering, instead of wa watering the entire row, I just water where each individual row is. And um, 
you're gonna want to keep it moist until they germinate. And then after they germinate, it's good to let them go a little dry and then water them just to encourage that root growth. Um, but really that's all there is to it. Well, good luck. And uh, if you have any suggestions for videos, just leave a comment below. Thanks.